Nesting automates the process of positioning your designs. It allows you to copy and quickly position parts on your sheet of material to minimize any leftover wastage. To use nesting, select the nesting icon located on the top toolbar. This will open up quite a large dialog. The tool diameter is obviously the size of the tool that you are going to use to cut the pieces out. Toolpath clearance is the distance between each toolpath. Edge clearance is how much of a gap is left around the edge of the sheet. This is useful if you have a sheet that is not running exactly square. The parts can be rotated to utilize the material space. Obviously, in this example, they can only rotate 90 degrees as they are rectangular. So I've just left it at the default of 45 degrees. If this part was an irregular shape, I could set that to be as low as one degree and Carveco would try to match up each part in one degree increments to get the best fit. Be warned though, the lower that the value is, the more processing power it takes. So it can take a little longer to calculate. You can mirror parts or have parts within parts, which will try to nest a part within another that has scrap material. For instance, a letter, maybe P, would have an internal island that would leave some scrap. Carveco would try to fit another piece into that internal scrap area to minimize waste. You can also specify where you would like the nesting to start. To start with, I'm just going to nest one part of each and select nest. This basically lines those up from the bottom left of the model with the gaps that I have specified. If I undo that, and rather than create one copy, I create 10 copies of each part, it will look a lot different and fill up more than one sheet. If I open up the sheets tree in the project, you can see that I can toggle between the sheets by selecting each of them. Here you can see the same example, but it is colored. That is because I have each of these colors on separate layers. This is useful for machining later as I can machine to a layer. What I would like to do with this is to maintain the layers after I've created the nesting. I can do this by grouping the parts before nesting and then ungrouping after nesting. If I uncheck the group inside and outside of shapes on nesting, it will give me an option to group now. When selected, it will group all of the parts and then turn them into one color. I can also specify how many copies of each part I would like when nested. If I select the left hand vector, the selected part under the section titled copies becomes active and I can enter a figure in there. The same can be done for the other parts. When they are selected, there will be a number in the center of them denoting how many parts are going to be made. This can then be nested and it will give the amount of copies specified, nested across multiple sheets. Once nested, if you ungroup all of the vectors, you will see that the vector layers are maintained, allowing you to then machine to these layers.